Hello everyone, it's the last film of my Consequences films, okay? And I, I'm going to do it one more year with the Consequences, and if I can't get those reviews out quick enough for next year's Academy Awards, I, I may not do this again. But, uh, <laughs> this film, above all others, is probably one of the more painful films I had to watch due to my Consequences of guessing the wrong amount of Academy Award winners and YouTube reviewer winners. Uh, it's it's Jack and Jill. I finally buckled down to watch this. Been avoiding it for a while because I heard so many horror stories and it just ran the table on the Razzies. And I can see why. Adam Sandler playing two roles, a brother and sister who are twins. And the brother is just, he's established this life uh, that he's had and he's got it pretty good. And his sister, you know, is that annoying sibling who's completely kind of an opposite of him. And, oh, Adam Sandler, he's it's really hit and miss, but a lot, a lot of miss lately. Uh, there's so many things that could have been done right in this film that aren't. Uh, it's just, first off, the character of Jill. Him playing two roles, you know, we've seen that in many other films. So that shtick's pretty much been overdone about as much as, like, zombie films and that. But what's worse about it is, is that the characters, not, neither one of them are really appealing. And then we add Al Pacino into the mix. Al! Come on, man, really, did you need, would you need money for a new yacht or something of why you took this film? Uh, again, it was just a crazy role that I know maybe he was trying to do comedy, but in this one, it just really didn't work. And I really think it's down to the script uh, of this film. This film didn't know whether or not it be, wanted to try to be kind of a, uh, a crazy comedy Adam Sandler or a touching family film, and it tried to do both, but in juggling so, it doesn't really accomplish either. Uh, y you know, I mean, the story really just doesn't come together at all. It's it's a mess. It's all over the place. Uh, and I just, the idea of Al P trying, they're trying to get uh, Al Pacino to do this commercial, and he falls for Jill, who's played by Adam Sandler, and that's kind of the motivation through this movie of, of Adam Sandler's Jack trying to get Jill to be with Al Pacino so he can be in this crazy uh, coffee commercial for Dunkin' Donuts. And... I don't know, folks. I tried to give it an opening. I heard bad things about it, but going, come on, it really can't be that bad. It is that bad. And that's sorry to say because I did like some of the talent in here. But I just couldn't get past pretty much everything in here. And I've watched a lot of bad films in my day, but just seeing, again, like in New Year's Eve, a waste of talent that they had in here due to a poor script and, and just hanging on a shtick that's been so beaten uh, that it's no longer the only novelty that can carry a film. So... Really, avoid Jack and Jill. It is as bad as many, many people say it is. There's many other Adam Sandler comedies out there that are more enjoyable, but this one just misses the mark in every single way. While I, I was trying to give it a chance, I can see definitely why this was the ultimate consequence film and why I kind of left it for the last to see. Uh, it just is not worth anyone's time. I can't give it any stubs in this. It, it's just... Seeing so much money thrown at a film like this and have it come up short really shows you some of the things that are wrong with Hollywood. Uh, I would rather see an independent film uh, get this budget and do something original uh, than seeing the same horse beaten over and over again, which Hollywood still seems to want to do. And that'll about do it for us here at The Final Cut. Hope you've liked our Consequences films. Sorry it took so long to get them out. And until next time, keep that ticket stopped. Thank you.